Okay, this video is if you're getting a 12 volt low voltage uh, indicator beeping on your SeaDoo jet ski. This will go through all the steps necessary to fix that. Very easy if you watch the video. So, in the front compartment I opened up, that's called your rectifier. Your rectifier has these three yellow wires that come from the motor. And then these two, the black and the red positive, go back to the battery. Actually, they go to a fuse and then back to the battery. And I'll show you that in a second. I was getting the beeping, so I took this out, the yellow one, and I tested the ohms across each one. The first and second wire, the second and third, and then the first and third. I tested all of that, and uh, you pretty much get... 0.3 to 0.4 resistance of ohms across those wires, which means your stator is working properly and that's within the motor. So that's usually not the issue. Usually that's that's fine. If you also take a AC voltmeter to this, you'll see between like 15 and 20 volts AC. Okay, not DC, AC. That's from the motor. That goes into this rectifier. Coming out of the rectifier, you can unplug this and take another voltmeter for DC and you should see around 15, 13 to 15 volts, closer to 15 volts. If you're getting the 15 volts, then that means your rectifier is working properly. Do not change your rectifier. Then you can trace these wires going all the way back to the little fuses. So like I said, 20 volts, AC, ingoing, in, in go, in, in input into the rectifier, out is around 15 volts DC. So AC to DC, that's what the rectifier does. It regulates the voltage. So now we trace the wire and it goes to this fuse box. If you take off this fuse box pretty easily, you can test the 30 amp, you make sure your 30 amp fuse is working correctly. If you put your, uh, your voltmeter on the negative and you touch the top part here on the, the 30 amp, you'll see you're getting 15 volts coming directly from the rectifier. If you are not, then something's wrong between the wire between this and your rectifier that we just looked at. This side is your battery side, the bottom part. So if you take the negative and you take the pot uh, from your voltmeter onto the battery and you take the positive and you touch here, you should see the volts of the battery, which should be around 12 volts. This is with the motor off, of course. So the next step is these two wires here. You'll see these two wires were, I already replaced it. So they, they were under here and they went into this bottom piece of the battery. So this wire right here connects directly to the battery. This piece, bottom piece, connects directly to the battery but these two wires were embedded into this plastic here. I then took the voltmeter and tested and I realized there's only 12 volts and when the jet ski is running, it's running less than 12 volts causing the wire to go off. But if I'm getting the 15 volts from the rectifier here, why am I not getting it here? Well, the wires were bad in here. Believe it or not, the holder, I had to splice this up and the holder that sealed, those wires were bad. So I took them, I moved them over here, I, put, I connected them to a new wire. You can see I attached them. I put a, um, a butt connector made for marine, sealed it, ran a new wire all the way here, and put a new ring on, which simulates the same thing of it being connected from the factory into that plastic. Now I'm testing and I see I'm getting the 15 volts here. With the battery on, it's around 12, this being 15, when the engine's running, it's an average around 13.5 to 14 volts. So it is charging the battery properly. I then test the battery part and it's working properly. I'm getting around 13 to 14 volts when it's running. So in my case, it wasn't the rectifier. It wasn't the wires coming from the, the engine. It wasn't the fuse. It was the harness, factory harness that has those wires in the plastic that actually corroded and broke apart. So I rewired them and connected them directly to the ring. 
easy fix and that should be your easy uh, five minute quick tutorial on how to check your jet ski for low voltage 12 volt indicator beeps hope i helped you out thumbs up if you did subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff